Hey everyone, this is Tim again here, and I was just thinking about this video I seen on YouTube. It was somewhere in Africa, and they were trying to do an exorcism on this woman who clearly wasn't demon-possessed. She was schizophrenic. I know because she would, they were claiming she was having hallucinations of this fire and they would make her reach out and touch the supposed fire saying there was nothing there and she would scream in pain it's just the thing with schizophrenia is it's not just hallucinations they see what it is they feel it they can hear it it affects all of their symptoms to them it's there it's also a chemical imbalance of the brain. But at the same time, they're uh, marching around, they're screaming prayers, they're placing, shoving crosses on her head and holding her down. And I am screaming at the top of my lungs, this woman does not need an exorcism. She needs a doctor. I mean, I do believe in deliverance. I believe in casting out demons. Quite frankly, I follow the demon slayers. Matter of fact, if you see right here, I don't know if you can see it, but I even have one of Vlad's shirts. So, yes, I do believe in deliverance, but you have to use discernment on that. Because a lot of people will think disabilities are demonic when they aren't. Another one I've seen is multiple personality disorder. People will automatically jump up and start screaming out in Jesus' name trying to cast the demon out. Don't do that. Multiple personality disorder is not a demon. It's a defense mechanism. Most of the time, not always, but a lot of the times people with this disorder have gone through some kind of drama, trauma or abuse and they're creating these characters in their own little world where that didn't happen and they feel safe. So if you're automatically going to try to cast out the demon, they're going to revert back to where they think is their safe space and you're going to see the second disorder and it's just going to make it worse. Can a demon manifest their disorders? Yes, they can. But at the same time, that is incredibly rare. Things like there are two spirits known as deaf and dumb. If they possess you, you are not going to be able to speak or hear. However, does that mean everyone who can't speak or hear is automatically demon possessed? No, it doesn't. I know several people who love the Lord and they some of them, one of them's even a preacher, but he's deaf. He uses sign language to communicate. The main thing I've, um, the best advice I've heard comes from Mike Signorelli. He says that if someone feels that strongly about it, or if it's, the, if they think it's demon possession or oppression, it could be either or, or it maybe isn't anything. Go to your pastor and the elders of the church, have them lay hands on this person and pray for them, and then listen to what the Spirit says. And then try to figure out what to do. But if you are dealing with something like this and it's causing some kind of trouble, I want to pray for you right now. Hey Dad, I just pray for the person watching. I pray that you give them peace and I pray you keep your hand on them or whoever they're dealing with and I pray that you show them the reason why they are in this 
trouble right now. In Jesus' name, amen. That's another thing I just thought about when I was praying. There could be a reason why this person was born with this disability. I mean, people who are autistic and autistic or even Down syndrome I've met are the most brilliant people on the face of the planet. That they've been able to do certain jobs and people with Down syndrome are incredibly relational. They, they're comforters is what they are. So it may not exactly be a bad thing as well. I would really suggest you spend some time in prayer and focus on peace through this trying time. That's all I have for today. See ya.